misfortune will abound. Dire extremity at weapons points or drowning in great waves will follow. Burn not the precious apple tree of spreading and low sweeping bough, tree ever decked in bloom of white against whose fair head all men put forth the hand. The surly blackthorn is a wanderer, a wood that the artificer burns not. Throughout his body, though it be scanty, birds and their flocks warble. The noble willow burn not, a tree sacred to poems. Within his blooms, bees are a sucking, all love the little cage. The graceful tree with the berries, the wizard's tree, the rowan burn. But spare the limber tree, burn not the slender hazel. Dark is the color of ash, timber that makes the wheels to a go. Rods he furnishes for horsemen's hands, his form turns battle into flight. Tenter hook among the woods, that the spiteful briar is. Burn him that is so keen and green. He cuts, he flays, the foot. With him that would advance, he forcibly drags backwards. Fiercest heat giver of all timber is green oak. From him, no one may escape and hurt. By partiality for him, the head is set on aching, and by his acrid embers, the eye is made sore. Alder, the very battle witch of all woods, the tree that is hottest in flight, undoubtedly burned at thy discretion both the alder and the white thorn. Holly, burn it green, holly, burn it dry. Of all trees whatsoever, it is critical, the critically best is the holly. Elder that has tough bark, tree that in truth hurts sore, him that furnishes horses to the armies from the she, burns that he may be charred. The birch as well, if he be laid low, promises abiding fortune. Burn up most sure and certainly the stakes that bear the constant pods. Put on the hearth, if so please thee, the russet aspen, to come headlong down. Burn, be it later or early, the tree with the palsied branch. Patriarch of long-lasting woods is a yew, sacred to feasts as it is well known. Of him, now build ye dark red rats, bats of goodly size. <laughs>